Don't be this girl or this girl. Today, I'm sharing 10 secret tips to help you look more professional on your Zoom calls. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. I know with many of us working from home right now, you are probably doing Zoom calls either with family members, friends, or coworkers, bosses, managers, you name it. A lot of you are not used to working from home and a lot of you are not used to using Zoom as a tool for work. So I thought it would be really helpful to go through some key tips to help you look really professional on your Zoom calls. Okay, so let's get started. The first tip is to look for great lighting. The best lighting that you can possibly have. You don't need fancy ring lights or any fancy lighting around you. Just sit in front of a window. So if your computer is not situated so that you're facing a window, move it so that you are situated so that you're facing a window. Or use your laptop or use your iPhone. Find that great light and you can see it. Like take your phone around and kind of do this you know, and see where the good light is and you'll see it almost right away, right? Find that good light and then that's where you wanna set up your Zoom call. That is key because you don't wanna end up like the floating head or the zombie girl like Caitlin on our team did the other day on our Zoom call. We have a weekly Zoom meeting on Mondays. Most of the members of the team are on that call and we were cracking up last week when Caitlin showed up. And literally it was like she was in a black hole. She's like one of those, you know, cheesy portraits where, do you know the ones I'm talking about where like the portrait is here and then there's like a floating head over here in blackness? <laughs> She was just like a floating head and we were all just dying laughing. And so that's kind of what sparked this. I thought, let's just talk about lighting and the key and what a big difference lighting can make, obviously. The next really important tip when it comes to being the most professional you on Zoom is to make sure that you pay attention to your background. You do not want piles of laundry in the background. You don't want you know, garbage in the background. You don't want exercise equipment in the background. Clear all of that stuff out of the background so that it looks neat, tidy, and clean. If you do not have time to do that, and some of us won't, they do have virtual backgrounds that you can use in a pinch. And while that's a little bit cheesy, it just is gonna get you out of that predicament of having this really messy room and not wanting to share that messy room and not having the time to clean it up. I did find a bunch of different virtual backgrounds that you can download through Shutterstock. I will put a link to those free virtual backgrounds below. They're kind of fun to play around with. Ooh, I'm in San Francisco and I'm in the flowers and I'm in the this really modern Scandinavian style house, you know? It's, it's fun, trust me. At least it was for me. <laughs> the third tip might be the most important of all and that is put up a do not disturb sign on your door. Also, take it a step further, explain to your children, kids, this do not disturb sign is up because mommy's gonna be on a video call. And when the door shut, that means you cannot come in, okay? Tell your spouses, tell your partners, let everybody know I have a video call at three o'clock, just so you know, it's video, video. I've had the dog rubbing her butt on the carpet behind me. I've had the kids racing through behind me. But the worst was my husband getting out of the shower, fuck naked, in the background behind me. And I saw him, I didn't say anything because I didn't want to draw attention to his penis behind me. <laughs> and I just let it go. And then I was like, as soon as he was a little bit more decent, I was like, honey, I'm on a video call. But I have never been so embarrassed in my whole life. I haven't discussed it with the person that I was on the call with. I don't know what she saw, what she didn't see. All I know is that it was so embarrassing and also so hilarious after the fact, but you do not want that to happen on a call with your boss or your manager. <laughs> you don't want your husband buck naked in the background, okay? Please learn from my mistakes <laughs> and make sure everybody in the family knows mommy's on a video call, I'm on a video call. Do not open the door. The next tip to look more professional, pay attention. Okay, don't be, you know, opening up browser windows on your computer and checking email and looking down at your phone and twirling around in your chair and eating or drinking. I mean, you can have like a coffee or a cup of water by you, that's fine, but just pay attention for the most part, you know? And if you need to like 
scoot for a minute to go to the bathroom or get more water or whatever, make sure that you turn your video off and put your audio on mute before you do that. And that's perfectly acceptable. Just don't do anything on camera that makes it look like you really don't wanna be there. The same goes for your face. One of my former team members, former, keyword, used to show up at the Zoom meetings and literally it looked like she'd rather be just about anywhere else. Do you know what I mean? It's like one of these deals. It's like, <sighs> right? Are you gonna think that that person is engaged and interested and passionate? Absolutely not. The other thing too, if you're a little bit older, you know how you have that just like natural RBF, resting bitch face? I check myself every once in a while because I'll see it because you're jowly and stuff, you know what I mean? You know what I mean if you're older. So make sure you have just like a little smirk on your face. It doesn't have to be big, just like a little like, hmm, hmm, I look pleasant, I'm pleasant. I'm not too happy, but I'm not bitchy either, right? So it's just like a little bit of a, hmm. They seem so simple, but I literally have seen all of these things that you're not supposed to do. I've seen them, I've experienced them because I have an online business and I do have a team of contractors, 10 of them. This kind of stuff happens all the time. Another thing to think about is your posture and how you're actually sitting in your chair. You just really wanna be sitting up. You wanna have your shoulders back. You wanna again have you know, a good facial expression, looking engaged, paying attention. But if you're like hunched down, shoulders are over, you know, again, it's gonna give off this vibe that you don't really wanna be there. You're tired, your energy is low, and that's not the kind of impression that you wanna make. You always wanna put your best foot forward even though it's a video call. This is still a real business meeting. Okay, let's talk about clothing. This is, you know, my specialty. What you wanna do is wear a beautiful color on top or like a tank, cami tee with a beautiful jacket over it. Something that looks really professional on top. Don't worry about the bottom, obviously. Again, if you're gonna get up and go to the bathroom or get more water, you're gonna turn that camera off, you're gonna turn the microphone off. You're gonna turn the audio on mute. So don't worry about what's on the bottom, just worry about what's on the top and what can you grab that will look really professional. And when in doubt, I would say, grab like a camisole or shell with a blazer. Like you can't go wrong with that. It looks really professional, crisp, sharp, like you mean business. You're dressing for success. Along those lines, definitely add jewelry. Do wear a necklace, do wear a pair of earrings, wear something that is impactful, but not distracting. You know, you don't want jangly bangles or jangly earrings. Do wear a piece of jewelry, at least one, and that will look like, again, you've put in an effort, you really wanna be there, you're taking this seriously, you're dressing for success. In terms of your hair, you really just wanna, again, make an effort, right? Don't show up post-workout with your hair in a top knot and looking quite greasy with your glasses, no makeup. I mean, that's pretty much my MO on Mondays because I usually like work out and then I talk to my team members, but I don't think that's what you should do. Like that's just what I do because I'm like the boss of my crew. For those of you who aren't, I would definitely do something neat with your hair. It doesn't have to be, it could still be curly, but just making sure like the flyaways are taken care of, it looks neat, it looks like it's clean, it looks pretty, you know, it doesn't have to be over the top, but just sleek, neat, clean, tidy, pretty. And then let's talk about makeup. For me, when I sit in front of a window and the window light tends to be more red or orangey, I'm already really red, I get super red. So I have to wear foundation that has some serious coverage. And I don't mean something thick, like I usually wear the It Cosmetics CC Cream or I'll do Dr. Jart's cream that takes out the redness and then the CC cream. And I know like, even if I have a hot flash, like my face isn't gonna turn tomato bright red and mine will do that. I don't know if you guys have that. It's like, I think it's a genetic thing. I also think it's my coloring. For me, I have to really think about the redness factor. I don't wanna turn into a tomato on camera. So I always have a really good layer of foundation on that I know will mask any of that redness. You know, you wanna have a nice lipstick on, you wanna do something with your eyes, doesn't have to be overboard, maybe a little bit of a highlighter or blush, you know, to do a five minute face. I wanted to show you exactly what I would do if I had like five minutes from working out to Zoom call. 
Like first I would check the background, tidy up, make sure everything's cool in the background. Then I would run into the bathroom, then put on the foundation, put on some bronzing powder on both cheeks and at the top of the forehead, a little bit of highlighter on the cheekbone. And then I would do like maybe a, a really quick wash of eyeshadow just to define the eye socket a bit more. And then a really fast lipstick and that's it, right? Here it is, that's the five minute face. That's all you need. And then you don't even have to worry about what's on the bottom, you worry about what's on the top, you're ready to go. You literally can do that in five minutes. A couple of technical things I wanted to share with you. There is a box that you can hit when you go to your video settings. So you're gonna go to that little camera icon and there's an arrow next to it. And then you click on video settings. You can actually <laughs> click a setting to touch up your face and skin. And it makes a notable difference and it's really nice, especially if you do happen to show up to the Zoom call, it's gonna look like you're a little bit more put together than you actually are. So I use that pretty much with every single Zoom call. And then the other thing that you should check is the HD, just to make sure that the video quality is as good as it can be. You may wanna consider an ancillary microphone. There are tons of them. I'll link an option below on Amazon. Okay, so those are your 10 secret tips to looking more professional on Zoom. Zoom. Do you have any questions? Please let me know in the comments below. If you liked this video and you want to see more like it, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. Also, I just wanted to mention for those of you who are interested in spending some time cleaning out your closet, I did create freebie checklists for you that you can download and print to make that process easier for you. I also created two videos to correspond with those checklists. So I will put a link to get those freebie checklists and also we'll put a link to that organizing playlist for you to check out if you need a help. If you need some guidance there in the organizing department, I got you covered. This is a rough time for all of us. We're all stuck at home. What can you do? Freak out? Yeah, we've done that. I've done it. Yeah, it's like every other day. <laughs> the other thing you could do is try to take your mind off of things by getting your house in order working on those projects you haven't worked on for your business and making sure that you are the most professional version of yourself on those Zoom calls. Do you have any funny Zoom stories? <laughs> Please share them in the comments below. I don't think anyone can top the penis in the background though. I'm pretty sure no one's gonna top that, but I could be wrong. Maybe you've got a, a juicier one. Please share it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time, bye. By the way, I wanted to tell you guys that when I shared this with Chris that that happened, you know, that he was buck naked in the middle of my video call, <laughs> he did not even flinch, not an ounce of embarrassment. And he goes, she's a lucky girl. <laughs> oh, that's my husband.